Hi everybody, welcome to Polka Dot Pots. I'm Erin Rassiope and today I'm going to show you how to paint this spoon rest in four easy steps. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply stickers to the spoon rest. To center a phrase like Mom's Kitchen, count all of the characters, including the spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the seventh character is the center, in this case the K. I've placed the K in the center of where I want the phrase to appear. Then I will start from the K and work my way out left and right to complete the phrase. A tip for working with smaller stickers is to use a toothpick, which helps with placement. Stickers are super easy to use and the results are amazing. Before I begin painting, I'm going to push down on the stickers to ensure that no paint gets underneath. Instead of using a brush, I'm using this sponge, which makes painting a flash and gives full and even coverage to a piece. Notice that I'm painting right over the stickers. When using a sponge, be sure to dab the paint onto the piece. Do not brush with the sponge, as that may result in uneven coverage. Using a sponge also makes it easy to paint all of the curves and edges on the spoon rest. For a nice solid look, apply three coats of paint. And don't forget to paint the bottom. Now let's add some dots. We have dot makers that make adding dots of all sizes a snap. On this spoon rest, we're going to add multiple layers of dots. Don't worry, it's easy. For the base layer, start by adding large dots. Simply dip the dot maker into the paint and then onto the piece for each dot. For even spacing, spread out dots all over the spoon rest. Start with just a few dots. You can always add more. Once the dots are dry, you are ready to add the next layer. Use a smaller size dot than the previous layer. There is no right or wrong way to add the dots. I just randomly place different colored dots on the previous layer. After I finish with this layer, I'll add a third layer with even smaller dots. Now that the paint is dry to the touch, I'm ready to remove the stickers. Using a toothpick, apply pressure to the edge of a sticker. Once part of the sticker separates from the item, grab it and peel it off. If any paint gets underneath the sticker, just scrape it off with the toothpick. All done! The piece is ready to be glazed and fired. All right, here's the finished product. What a great way to personalize your kitchen and stop getting pasta sauce all over the stovetop. Now it's time to give away this spoon rest for free. All you have to do is answer the question of the day in the comments below and we'll randomly pick one of you to ship this to. The question of the day is, what recipe in your house calls for a spoon rest? For me, it's definitely pasta with tomato sauce. I'm Erin Rassiope and until next time, happy painting!